what he has confirmed me as a post. And what am I bringing on board beyond my second term? What I'm bringing on board is to continue uh, my work as a MP and as MP, basically as a legislature. There are three main rules as legislature, the, the deliberative and the oversight responsibility. I will live up to that. And again, continue with uh, the work that I, I, I did uh, for the party to endorse me to go on the post. I'll continue, I'll, I'll, I'll continue with, with that work. But uh, I went through the COVID-19. You know that it, this pandemic uh, took us on our way, and uh, uh, the government has put in all the necessary measures. We know all the uh, policies the measures that the government has put in place to nip this or to you know to deal with this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Well, it's been with that for the past three months, and uh, the schools were uh, closed down, and they were open school for basically those who are. Uh, about to exit to go to convert and complete yeah, them. Uh, what I'm, what we are doing, the government has put in measures, you know, the uh, preventive and the protocols, all the protocols that is needed to, you know, not injure the lives of the people. So, so I think that our, in my, within my constituency, I know the measures that the government has put in place will be adhered to. We we'll go around the, the European school today, am I right? Yeah, I will go around and see, meet the, the teachers and authorities to see how best they are prepared, their preparedness for uh, the coming of, of the kids. So that, I mean, aside uh, the education aspect, their lives also will not be endangered. Oh, I just suggest, I think the government, uh, his SNA, the president gave a, a, a presentation yesterday, and uh, you know, retreating the point about uh, the, uh, making sure that. Uh, the, the protocols and the COVID and precaution measures are adhered to. Aside, uh, let's let's see how things uh, unfold. Yeah, they are be, they are beginning school to, uh, today. So as the day rolls by, we will see if there will be any new thing uh, that should come about. We also take it up and uh, you know, look at it. Well, same thing to affect. I'm uh, talking about uh, attrition rate. Yes. Yeah, attrition is just it's 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 just unfortunate that uh, most of the top gurus, those who when you come to parliament, they matter in, in terms of when it comes to uh, bills and all other things that between parliament they matter. Most of them have lost uh, mention on top of the convention. Uh, Honorable Oswe do me, uh, uh, Doctor Sesi B, or Doctor Ansan, Doctor Nyama, and all of them. You know. Uh, Definitely, it's going to affect Parliament because the parliamentary work is like that. When you go to Parliament, you need time to build yourself up. You know, you need time to build yourself up. And these are people who have been in the system for so they are like an institutional memory. You see, so they have built themselves up, and they, are, they, I mean, I mean, they are performing their role cannot be downplayed. They cannot under, underestimate their, 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 their roles in Parliament. And here is a case that the party has gone to Congress and the, the delegates have spoken. We can't do otherwise. But the worrying aspect of it is the attrition rate. I think I wasn't expecting that. But this is the reality uh, it has gone on us. So uh, I think it's, it's high time that we take a second look at the, the processes of selecting uh, members of parliament or well, people who go to uh, parliament to perform. We have to maybe sit down and uh, sit on the round table and just, you know, uh, really look or maybe have a second look or, you know, just look at it critically. Other than that, uh, other than that it's, 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 it's to affect the performance of the legislature. Uh, sit, sit down. You, 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 you recall that the leader, the, the majority leader once brought a proposal, the whole of the proposal. I can say it, but we have to sit down and look at the consequences of this election. If you look at this very election, look at the attrition rate, about more than 43 MPs. Some are, oh, some are uh, the first time, others to, to second time or third time and things. In the case of the first uh, first time, you will agree with me that they are not building themselves up, you know, no, uh, look, knowing the rudiments of parliamentary work, uh, the uh, standing orders, the constitution, and all those and those kind of things. And they are now coming to terms with uh, uh, with the workings in uh, in the house. And all the realize that they, they've been voted out of. They are now going to train. 
get another people. And even the confidence, even in in in, in, the, uh, in the plenary on the on the floor of the house, even even to master the current corner, even to stand up and talk about issues is also it's a whole. Uh, I I see Parliament as an institution, as a place that when you go, it's a place that we need to maybe. Uh, have a second look about this thing. Like other jurisdictions, uh, men from what is elected as, as, as a parliamentarian, it becomes a career. 30, 40 years. You see, less, less, recently, last, I think the last year we had a Mr. Uh, Pelosi as a US. I mean, when she came, this woman has about 30 or 30 years experience. So she knows the stuff and she knows the parliament went So these people, these are people that you can't, you can't just, you know, let their yeah, this thing, you know, go. We, we need to really have a second look and sit on the round table and uh, debate and discuss about it so that it doesn't affect, other than that, other than that, other than that, it's going to affect our, our, our democracy. I think we need to have a second look at the way we, 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 we select or we choose our parliamentarian. Lastly, yeah. what else can we do? You know, you know the role of a parliamentarian. We legislate, we, we, we exercise oversight, we, we uh, have oversight responsibility for, uh, on the executive. Uh, but uh, what we are going to do, we are not going to do anything different. We are just going to, we are just going to continue the parliamentary work and make sure that uh, we, we exercise our, 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 our duties and we, we live up to the expectation of, of, of the citizenry. Uh, I, for one, is talking about uh, the four years uh, ahead of four years uh, from the, 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 which is the age parliament. You know. I came, I'm, I'm, I'm part of the seven parliament. I came on a ticket of MPP and I campaigned on promises. And in my case, my endorsement to on the post tells you that but my constituency, and maybe I live up to the expectation I was able to because I didn't campaign on a, in a vacuum, I campaigned on promises. Maybe the constituency further, yeah. But, but my performance and what I've been, done in Parliament, I, need, I deserve to be given uh, another, uh, another opportunity to go and serve. And all that I'm going to do, I'm going to live up to the expectation of my constituents and make sure that I also play them, uh, the, 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 my. The, the legislative and the advocacy role that I, I need to play for my constituents. So that at the end of the day, my constituents will also get a share of the national kick. Not really, uh, to your heart. Yeah, we, just, we just finished the, uh, our uh, parliamentary primaries and the constituency, the party activists are there. And we are even, we know that this impending uh, voter registration is like we are preparing ourselves adequately for it. You know that it's going to be a different thing you know, in, in, in relation to the COVID 19. We have to, uh, it's not going to be that business of us, Israel. It's not going to be as we used to, uh, to do the registration. Uh, so we are preparing ourselves for this uh, upcoming or uh, this thing, the impending. Uh, registration that we are preparing ourselves because at the end of the day, it is a registration that is going to determine it. about those who are on the register, whose name are in the register, that are going to determine but, uh, whether you win power or not. Because that is, without, without being a register, uh, register voter, you cannot vote. So this exercise, we are really serious. We are taking it serious, and we are going to make sure that uh, we maximize the reg our registration. Because here is a stronghold of MPP. I mean, you can, you can, I mean, there's no doubt about that. So. At the end of the day, if uh, about a lot of people are able to get their name onto the register, for those 18 and, and, and above, uh, a lot of people are able to get their name onto the register, I, the party stand a better, I stand a better chance of winning uh, uh, the seat and for that matter, winning the ultimate, the, the presidency. Uh,